What up, y'all? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. We are drinking... This is a passion fruit boba tea. Boba tea? Boba tea? Where? And it's not a boba slush. It's not a tea. There's no tea in it. It's a slush. And uh, I'm going to take this mana drain. You like mana drain, Michael? It's pretty good. No step. Shut up. I got them bobas. I don't even think they're that great, I'll be honest with you. I just want the, the, the slushy fruit part. I don't know. They had a texture, but... I don't care about that. Michael, you want to try this peanut butter whiskey? Huh. That's interesting. I'd try it, sure. Hmm. Should mix a little Tito's into this. <clears throat> got big tefts and a force of nagats badger am I able to send you some I doubt I could right I don't know how shipping alcohol works I really like I think tefri is so strong I'm taking tefri What up, Mr. Mole? <laughs> Mr. Mole sounds like a fucking children's cartoon character. Hey there, Mr. Mole! Shipping alcohol is an issue. I think shipping alcohol is illegal. It feels like there's uh, conflicting <clears throat> opinions here. Frost Titan? And there's a dog in the corner. Yeah, that's a little, that's a little Wally. Let me uh, close this so you guys can see these pics. Yeah, Frost Titan kind of doesn't do anything for me. Like, emotionally. Vindicate? Damnation? Now you're just naming cards. That's kind of how it works. Wow. Wow. Do I want Through the Breach? I kind of like Through the Breach. It's early enough. We only missed, like, a Marsh hmm. Flash. Spellseeker gets Mandarin. I like that. Yeah, but it's awkward getting him in counter spell. So? I'll still counter it, man. I don't give a fuck. Cool, you know what, man? My manager ran. Play around it. Shipping alcohol isn't an issue, but it is illegal. We've come full circle. Michael, do you know the Muffin Man? God, it's so good. It's just so satisfying. Like, it's, a, it's basically a smoothie, right? Yeah. If you import alcoholic beverages by mail with a value of Australian 1000 or less, we will send you an invoice... Advising the duty and taxes payable. You need to pay this invoice before your goods will be delivered to you. If the goods have a value of over 80000 you must launch an import declaration. That's a lot of... That's a lot of things happening. I like this Elspeth. She's very good. Plus I can manage her in like turn three one of those dudes maybe. Do I ever draft Storm? Not frequently. I feel like it's the least fun archetype to, to, to play or to play against, so. I like more interactive things where I have more decisions. I mean, a lot, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of decisions in Storm decks, but... Yeah, it's all one-sided. <clears throat> but it's also, they're not cool decisions. It's not like, do I play my removal spell, or do I kill this guy, or do I play a Planeswalker? It's always like, how long do I wait before playing my Seething Song? <clears throat> Man, there, when there's a guide to how to ship alcohol, you know it's complicated. Man, states are... <coughs> laws are weird. Got a bit of a brain freeze. I got a bit of a brain freeze. <coughs> Did you try crying about it? Mm-hmm. Didn't work, huh? No, it worked. I cried about it. Hmm. I guess I should be more specific. Not my boss, but the owner of the company. I don't think you... I don't think you really needed to be that much more specific. At no point was I like, oh, that makes much more sense. I had no idea what you meant before you clarified. It's probably just path, right? It could be water grave. I mean, we're not that color yet.
I'll take bath. Michael, if I could hit you in the face with this hammer <coughs> or stab you in the butt with this knife, what would you prefer? Being hit in the face with a hammer or being stabbed in the butt? Yeah, what would your choice be? Tough pick. I know. I know. Hmm. I won't say no. <laughs> All right. Oh, do we just take this Yorion? Blink, blink, blink. Yeah. I think I'd go butt knife. You think your butt knife? Yeah. Because, like, I don't really want my face to get caved in or something, you know? Because it's so beautiful? Yeah. I have 21. No. We're calling the police. Oh, look at this. Look at this wild map. This thing's going crazy. sour a sour of temptation so sour it's like a it's like a warhead candy exactly exactly <clears throat> oh hey man yeah ma'am can i get that juice i'll think about it <laughs> all right let me know got lingering souls lingering souls I think it'd be this one. I think this is the juice. That looks correct. The juice giver. Remember when I was the juice giver, Michael? Oh, a scrubland to go with our lingering souls? God. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I would slam the damnation here. Slam the damn, you would? Mm hmm. Slam that damn. I feel like the bubbles just get in the way and they cause less of the to be slushy. Yeah, the less of the slushy to get in my mouth. Alright, our deck's looking alright so far. We're just going to open Ancestral or Time Walk. It's going to go amazing with Spellseeker. That would be good. <clears throat> what if the butt knife... Alright, you ready for this? was like it had four blades one in each direction and it was serrated would your answer be the same probably wow wow i'm really good at this game <laughs> also <laughs> fracture identities in this pack dang i mean it's time walk i gotta take the time walk I would say hammer to the face since I used to train boxing. Either way, I would rather not have pointy objects trying to penetrate my lower regions. Well, same. I don't think either of them are Wait, appealing. Is part of the butt? No, it just goes right. Y you know. I would kind of consider mind twist here. I would cut, 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 cut. cut. So we have mm. one black land. So far. Uh huh. It only costs one black. Mm hmm. And the God Shrine will probably be. Mm. how many butt parts are there <laughs> see that's the question right like do I get to choose the part I mean no maybe I don't know man kind of like Thread and Dynamo here alright I'm taking the mind twist I think the upside is too high god Goddamn Boba. Boba Fett? This bow is too powerful. What would you say its power level is at? At least 100. Wow, really? You're just going to drop. You're not going to take the over 9,000 road? It's too obvious. Wow, so at least a hundred was that was just a better answer, you think, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's a boba. Its power level is obviously not gonna be that high, Frank. Hmm. So Faith's Fetters is an option. Stoneforge. <coughs> Stoneforge, we don't have any equipment. Archangel Addison, yep. I think, and Face Fetters. 
Really? Because I was going to take a water grave, and your first fucking response was, we don't have any of that color yet. So. That is because I wasn't reading the future. Wow. Which was my mistake. I'm gonna get this bubble. Wow, man, you have demolished that thing. Eugene. I actually like Eugene a lot when we got managing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, I like the Terror of the Peaks is in here. That's pretty gas. I'm really into that card, huh? The card is sweet, man. I'm gonna take Creeping Tarpit. Creeper. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Michael. Look at the difference in, in consumptive rates. <laughs> that's just unbelievable, man. I still like the pineapple a little better, but... It's close. They're kind of similar. I think I'm going to try mango next. So you know, I like tomorrow. Okay. Oh, oh, colonnade? I think it's probably consumption. I, I think I said cons let's see what consum let the definition of consumptive is. A person with a wasting disease. See, that's not correct. Michael does not have a wasting disease. Don't I though? No, you have an eating disease. Ugh. Did you get a fucking brain freeze? Yeah. I mean, you literally finished that whole thing when I've taken... You have... It's not done yet. You have less left than I've drank in so far. Eggnog salad? Is that what you said? Yes. You're disgusting. <clears throat> oh, brain freeze brittle. Ugh. God, it's like in the back of your skull. Yeah. That's where it is. I kind of like Skull Clamp here because we have Elspeth and Spellseeker and Path Taker <coughs> and Lingering Souls. <coughs> yeah, alright. Scrabble go. Oh, kind of like V-click. I can just ruin someone's day. Happy birthday, Moochel. Michael, happy birthday. We can get a little trinky. It's good if we open power. I mean, it gets a skull clamp at the very least. And if we do open power, like a soul ring, and if we get past the mox. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> Our deck's looking pretty alright so far. Yeah, this is Mike's first birthday this month. Congratulations, buddy. God, they grow up so fast. Oh, wow, yeah. an honor. An honor? Uh-huh. Wow. Stony came back? Also, Avison. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> I think I'm kind of like Avison. Get aggro. I kind of do, too. Oh, wow. Terror of the Peaks came back? It's my favorite. Why do you like that card so much? It's a cool card, man. I like that they put M21 cards in here. What do you want? Uh, 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 I'm trying to think it's really clever. Bu -bu 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 -bu. brownie. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh, baby. We gotta pass this guy, but 
that's an on-color Maximo, Maximo Reno. And we get it with a little Trinky. Remember that time I was like, it's okay, we're going to open Time Walk, and then we did, and I was like, well, we can open a Mox with Trinket Mage, and we did. God, we're so good at this game. Surprised like V-Click. I mean, we already have two six drops and an eight drop with no <coughs> no mana acceleration whatsoever, except for mana drain, so. We're playing a long game. We're in the we're in the long game now. Yes. Gearhulk is nice with a mana drain. It's nicer with an ancestral. Time spiral. We can get past it. Ancestral? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Unfortunately, mana drain is the only thing. It's yeah, well, no path. I guess path. Let's take it then. It's probably worth it. No, I'm taking time spiral. Why? Because it's just a bonkers card, man. Draw seven. Stupid. As he puts it into the sideboard and is clearly memeing. That's no meme. You little shit. Hey, man, I hear Soulfire Grandmaster is pretty good when you take him for turns with it. Six mana win the game. I bet it comes back. Why? What are you trying to take? I'm trying to take Wrath of God. Okay. Ain't nobody taking Soul Fire. I bet it's going to be five cards left in that pack. Oh! <clears throat> are, you, are you done? Why is stupid Thassa's Oracle in here? Get that out of here. It's a waste of space. It's weird because Inverter of Truth I don't think is in the cube. So it's Wait, did they like, cut that? I don't think it was ever in here. Then what's the point of that? I don't know. <laughs> Literally useless. It probably isn't here. Someone's gonna be like, hey, "It's that hair," and you're gonna be like, oh, "Yeah, but okay. like their their cube is too big to have like just that small of a two card combo." Really? Yeah. Really? Yes. Because it leaves a splinter when you have like a couple different targets. You know what I mean? Really? Yes. <clears throat> don't say it again. Don't you? Don't you dare! Oh, I like a Thief of Sanity and a Banishing Light. I do want to mesmize the black cards. I do want to mesmize them. <laughs> mesmize those blue black cards. A thief is pretty good. It's like a mini ninja. It is like a mini ninja. <clears throat> well, butter my biscuits, Michael B. You like that one? I'd hate it. Old smoky whiskey, peanut butter whiskey. Smoky whiskey, peanut butter whiskey. <clears throat> Council judgment seems pretty pretty bananas here. It's uh, pretty good. Let's give you the deck right here. Play an extra line. I'll do it. I'll oh, do snappy. Me. Whoa! Oh, snappy seems That's actually here. real good. <clears throat> Time walk path. Mana drain. Mana That's drain. pretty much it, but I mean, those are good enough, I think. And council judgment, council too. Wait, do you get the exile council judgment? No. What? Okay, for some reason, I thought you had exile it. What? Oh, no, now that. See, now we're going to lose the soul fire because you couldn't predict the future to get day of judgment. Hey. Stupid. God damn! You were you were gonna say something else, weren't you? Yeah. What were you gonna say, man? Mitch. Oh yeah, C Chrome. I like dig through time too. I think we're yeah. The only real issue is our mana could be better, but it's not that bad. That's why I took the C Chrome Coast. God, you're so stupid. <laughs> Look at all those cherries. <laughs> Look at all the cherries. Oh. Look at my cherries. Mr. Choi. That seems... Spellseeker gets Time Walk, Time, Mana Drain, and Path. Trigger Mage gets Skull Clamp and Mox Jet. 
I'll take a Finks for the Bortle. Right, I think this is the pack. We'll see if you, if you predict the future. Oh, there's going to be five cards left, so I don't know how many. 23. <clears throat> so I think this is 40, so yeah, this should be the pack. <laughs> this is what Badger just sent. It's not here. I don't... I don't know if this might be the next pack. Creamy is an angel. Creamy, we don't deserve creamy. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I don't. You will one day. One day. This deck looks fun. Actually, our deck looks pretty miserable to play against. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at this piece of shit. Oh, Concealed Courtyard is banging. I hate these lands, but I'll take them. I think this was the pack. No. I mean, it's already gone. There are 13 cards in the pack, so there would have been five. <clears throat> Still, our deck looks pretty sweet. Only three black cards? That's pretty decent. Yeah, I think we have three sources. One, two, three, and Mox Jet four, and one Swamp five. That's probably that's good probably for fine, now. Yeah. We got white, we have one, two, three, four, nine. Blue, we have one, two, three. Eight. I think we went the other way. More blue than white? Yeah, because these are also blue. Where'd your fucking thing go, man? I can't believe you finished that thing in, like, record time. Is it really that surprising? Yeah, once you get that, once he gets that boba slush in him. Huh? Boba slush. Get creeping. Oh, we're playing against Party Petey. It's your boy, Party Petey. Oh no. My friend told me that he finally got a secret layer of Theros. As an apology, I guess I got sent a Theros collection booster, but I guess the first couple of people got sent a box. What? Yeah, I've definitely heard people getting uh that's that was like they put a collector booster in all the in all the shipments because it was so late. Let's get a what do you think we get? Let's get a skull clamp and equip it, and then we can wrath and draw two. You don't want to just get a mox when we have an eight drop and a five drop in our hand? We have four mana. Like, I think we'll draw one more land. Especially if we skull clamp, Michael. Oh, boy. I don't know. Like, the only thing we can't pass is Teferi, but I'm really more concerned with just wiping the board here, so. I'll get the mox. I don't care. Oh, I do need another white. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh, interesting. They didn't do anything. White mana. My guess is they have cord. No, they wouldn't have. I don't know. That's rude. <laughs> Did I play land this turn? Dang. I guess I did. <coughs> oh, dog cam's looking good right now. <laughs> Look at those brothers. See, last turn they didn't have a single. Now they got two, three blue up if they want it. That's a lot of blue, man. 
That's a lot of blue man group. What'd you say to me? Nothing. And you never will. No, I just did. Got it. Bet. Well. Do I even want to walk here? You don't need to. Yeah, they ain't doing nothing. I don't have a threat to play. Watch, we're going to draw Elspeth, Sun's Champion, then I'm going to wish we walked so I could slam it. Slamming! Ready? Elspeth, Sun's Champion. That would have also worked. Our opponent has not done anything other than play these tiny little, tiny little babies. Flooded, I guess? <clears throat> I guess. Oh. Well. That's something. Let's tap their mana vault. Seems good. What do you want to you want to put money on whether they try to untap it at the end of our turn? Hmm. It's tempting because they probably will try that. And. They're also dead next turn, so. It's true. Oh, wow. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays Paying off. four mana to have three mana. That ain't gonna do it. Man, we got time walk, bro. Your death is imminent. Also, the sacket. This isn't from the graveyard. I know. Even if they did, I guess they'll tap it. Well, I care. My point is, they gained three life, though, so they're not dead, Michael. What if you just activate Tar Pit? Okay. I guess that's a good strategy. No reason to show him time walk. I agree with you. You're fucking smart. You're like... My brain every time I see a Snapcaster. Yeah, like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> This is the uh, this is the meme that was sent over. Hmm. I love Ken Jong. Depeche Chode. <laughs> oh man. Michael's a Chode. Wow. Got him. How dare you? Should I just board in Day of Judgment too? That's just the first one. I don't think they made a card called Day of Judgment 2. You could probably take out, um... Your Thief of Sanity? No, that actually seems pretty good against him. I'm gonna use, like, Tithe Taker. Just a random 2-drop that does nothing. It holds down the fort, Michael. That's like a path. Really? Maybe. Yeah, what one creature am I gonna want to kill? No, I like face fetters because it deals with planeswalkers, which green decks often have a lot of. This is probably a mulligan. Fix your little swoop. Swoop, 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 swoop out. What are you doing? I'm moving stuff. What are you moving? My cup. Gotta try it, I guess. Oof. I mean, one blue in this hand is actually great. <clears throat> we have nine blue sources. It's fine. And those were the last words he ever spoke. Do we get rid of Tef? Get rid of, let's get rid of Mana Drain so we can get it with Spellseeker. I think it's our actually only other target, so it actually makes perfect sense. See Chrome Coast off that tippity top. Oh, Skull Clamp. Oh, that's actually good. If we get that blue, we can clamp her. Life is like a board game. Nobody likes board games. Sometimes I forget that the, the dog cam is up. Oh, well, that's that's a guy. It's going to be a little harder to fix. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, they only have seven mana next turn, right? See, look, nailed it. Oh, actually, we got that skull clamp. All right. Well, we have two day. We have two day effects. We got skull clamp. I think we're all right. And two day effects that neither are in our hand. <clears throat> they didn't do anything. Wow, that is interesting. Maybe they needed another forest. This is like an ancestral recall. If there's not a land here, I'm probably gonna just I was gonna lose my ever loving mind. One land and four cards. Lose yourself in the music the moment. What then what? Oh, we can also get Mind Twist with Spellseeker. That's pretty sweet. I think it's actually Council's Judgment here. Why aren't they doing anything? Dude, when, they, when your opponent attacks with her fellows, you're like, nice. You're in fucking great shape, my dude. You can just wrath them here, right? I can't imagine not wrathing them here. I mean, if they didn't have anything that cost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, oh, they're just gonna counter this. Okay, well, I've got news for him. I'm gonna wrath that guy next turn. You're just giving us more value, bro. You're just delaying the inevitable, my dude. Oh god, that's gonna that's gonna do it. Here we go. They're gonna kill a white? Sure. Sure. Also, Wrath's kind of bad. There's something we have to do it. Put him in prison. You're going to jail, bucko. And our opponent hasn't won card, so. We could actually consider not wrathing because... I'm not going to wrath anymore, no. <clears throat> Once I get nine mana. Never mind. That would never work. Oh, they have no cards in hand? Okie dokie. Oh, big scrubs. I'll just play Scare Bad. Slime him and jam him. Slam him and jam him. Like you do. Oh, they drew a thing. Oh, another piece of mana. <laughs> Who's even got the time, man? Yorion. More like Boreon, am I right? No. I'm not right? No. What was my phone saying? Let's find out. A Twitter follower? Who followed me on Twitter? I don't know who you are. Who are you, Twitter follower? Tempted to attack, but then tempted to not attack. Actually, we attack and then we just blink, blink things. Oh, that's old party, Pete. When do they come back? Uh, return those. Begin the next end step. Okay. Blink you. Blink you. Why are you blinking for the So I can gain four life? Oh, he doesn't re-enter the battlefield. What doesn't? Woodfall Primus yeah. doesn't? No. It's not a banishing light. You're right. Buddy, I know. Oh, 
A good colonizer's day? Nah, that holiday sucks my ass. Suck my ass. Holiday. Holiday. I always felt like 4th of July was super awkward this year. Why? What is there to celebrate? Well, that's what I mean. That's my little the point I'm making. These dogs are adorable. Michael, you ever blinked a fetter? Never. You ever blinked one of your face's feathers? No. Okay. No! Why are you yelling? Okay, I'm just going to attribute it to brain damage. Bet. What are you betting? That I have brain damage. <laughs> you're going to win it. You're going to win that bet, my friend. Sure I am. It's 100% true. I said you're going to win it, and you said sure oh, I am. It's see, 100%. that's the brain damage. Oh, I know. It was just amazing that you, you know, you helped it along there. My nose is really itching. Oh, wow. We can just play Spellseeker and keep up friggin' mana drain? <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, they're going to do something? Oh, that's unfortunate. Why would you do... I cannot believe you've done this. I should have done this first, I think. I put milk and cookies by the fireplace for George Washington. <laughs> I would do the same. It's the least you can do, really. Don't? Oh, okay, you did are you okay? Were you going to cry? I thought you were going to tap two blue. No, don't do it. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm a little baby. <laughs> a little baby. What's wrong with you? I like Dave Matthews' band. What can I say? <clears throat> I like Dave Matthews' band. Do you? No. What was your favorite Dave Matthews' band track? I said no, Frank. Still gotta have a favorite. The space between the little pipe and the school bus. The space between the pipe, the little pipe and the school bus. Yeah. This is a that's a weird song, man. <laughs> you don't like that one? I don't like it that one. I don't like it that one, huh? So basically, our opponent can't really cast anything for the rest of the game. That was, that's what's going on here. A little baby. Ants marching is good. Not the one that likes like bam, 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 You know that one. You know everybody knows dance marching. She wakes up in the morning, bite to eat and he's rolling. Never changes a thing. This is pretty brutal. You got it. Tuck him. Tuck him in. <laughs> Tuck him in. Um. Oh, wow. You got a bleep sound effect now? Yeah, boy. That seems like it's going to be hard to use. Your mom's a hard to use. Is she? Yeah, no instructions, bro. All right, they got a green in the pool from the relic. If they want to come out, Terfer, I'll just block their. The. What are you doing? You scratching your little lip? Yeah. <clears throat> I wish COVID nineteen wasn't a thing, so I could just get a haircut. <laughs> mm. I wish you weren't a thing, so that I wouldn't have to deal with you anymore. Lies. Oh my god, what is happening right now? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? Court or maybe... Uh, is this finale of Devastation? Finale? And just kill us out of nowhere? Uh, <sighs> yours and mine favorite. All I had to do was not take the shields down. I'm so fucking pissed at myself. What did you even take the shields down for? Tuffery. Doesn't he untap lands for you there? Not if you tuck. Oh, you tucked. I don't think we can actually win this now. Yeah, when we're at 10 and there's a 6-6 six, six on board. We could draw a path, I guess. We boarded path out. Oh. Then we're dead. Pretty good top deck. Yeah, you think so?
All they needed was one fucking turn. Yep. Yep, let's go to game three. Nice thing you have upheaval. Yeah, leaving the shields down. I guess it wasn't worth it. I guess not, Michael. I guess not. I guess tucking him doesn't really make any sense because, like, it wasn't really going to kill us. I mean, we were at 10. Like, it's got two more hits from that guy. Yeah, but they were at lower life. I mean, they were at 11 until before we attacked with the... So we're at 10. We go to 6. We go to 4. We attack him around the 3. And now we need an answer for that guy. So it's like... I mean, it's not like we can't... It's not like we don't have to deal with him ever. Good to know you have upheaval. Oh. Here. Oh. I finally got a Starbucks and work a big boy job. Hey, man. Starbucks is great. But that's also... Congrats. Snap keep. Snap it. Keep it. Put it in my... Put it in between my pipe and my... What was the other thing? The little... The... The pipe in the school bus. <laughs> you really rattled that off, man. God, you must fucking know their whole catalog. Between the pipe and the school bus. <laughs> Never changes a thing. You got the pipe and the school bus is dreaming. God, if only there's some way I can make him stop. Hunter? No, you. I don't know, man. Maybe don't sing. If this is our fellow, it's auto don't care about that. I'm just going to play Thief and then probably destroy you. Unless they go Questing Beast, which we haven't seen in two games. And yeah, I mean, like, Starbucks is a fine job to work at, but like, obviously it's not. that's not your life's goal, man. Getting yelled at for now, Carmel, Carmel, Carmel Drizzle. Buddy. Yeah, customer service is... Uh, the only yeah, thing I ever got yelled at at Starbucks service. was uh, having my sleeves rolled up so my tattoos were exposed and Howard Schultz didn't like it. I don't think they care about that anymore, though. I, they probably don't, which makes me fucking angry. Now we're going to... Back in my day, they cared about the tattoos showing. They did care about the tattoos <laughs> showing. I'm going to go get my little drinky drink. Really? Is yeah. this wasn't enough for you? No. It's Jesus. never enough. Hashtag never enough. Greed. Hashtag greed. Hey, look, a hunter. Vandalian click. Let me see what you got. Two lands. Nice. Nice. So we can go one, two, three. Thief. All right, this game is probably over. No blocks, as you can imagine. Alright, what did you play? Play an island. Seems good. Alright. Good. You love to see it. I've had a lady break down before. What does that even mean? Wow. Wondering what the other was thinking. I got a trinket major. Let's get a mox and we'll play it. Laying under the table and dreaming. Now I have Dave Matthews Band stuck in my head. It's pretty terrible. I mean, not that I dislike Dave Matthews. 
I just think it's probably not what you guys want to be hearing. I know Michael's probably upset because I'm not. I'm singing about the tailpipe between the school bus. Did you just shut the door? I think he's going to the bathroom. Woodfall Primus? Come on, you know better. I mean, now we just have to close out the game, right? Well. One, two, three. Yep, just gotta burn that manoose. Crack that whip. I mean, eight of this is unblockable, so. Short of them drawing upheaval, we drew two islands. Um. I'm going to take Mystic, because if they do upheaval, it gives us a significant advantage. They have 9, 10 mana? Alright, that's the end. Laying under the table and dreaming... Take these chances. Would you take a little poop? No. I wouldn't poop in your bathroom, man. That'd be messed up. I bet you would. Michael got wind and taking a little peep. I have to tell you something, though. Oh, God. I'm not going to like it. Oh, God. There's an earring in there. In the bathroom? Yep. Where? On the floor. Kind of to the right of the toilet. Dude, how? I've never seen one in there, and I check every fucking day. I got him, but just figured you unfortunately would want to know. We should start to count. I'd rather not. I'll keep this hand. I didn't take a poop. I took a big poop. <laughs> this is two different coffee drinks combined. Half a uh, de leche, half white chocolate mocha. <laughs> Why do you have two drinks mixed? Because I had two cups and I figured I might as well just put it in one. Why do you have so many unfinished Starbucks lying around the house? It's just what it is. The average human eats 6.5 earwigs annually. That's not a true fact. That is false. That's fucking disgusting. No, there's no way that's real. It's the same made up myth of like the, the spiders. Like, you eat eight spiders and you sleep a year. Maybe you do. No, I don't, Frank. It's a myth. But maybe you do. You spider eating piece of shit. The average earwig eats 5.6 humans annually. Oh, God. God. <laughs> Jesus, that's. The average man eats 420 spiders a day. Blaze it. Call me if you want to blaze one up. You? Mm-hmm. Yeah, give him a call. You guys have his phone number. Don't actually call me. Guys, call Michael if you want to blaze one up. Please don't call me. He would really enjoy blazing one up with you guys. <laughs> give him a call. Call his phone. Call it right now. You know what I mean? Like, Don't actually call it. Call him right now. Please do not call me. He's here to field your calls, guys. I will not answer. Call him anytime, day or night. Don't call me at all. Guys. <laughs> you can text me, but do not call me. Text him if he doesn't respond, then give him a call. Don't call me. I put a teaspoon of earwigs in my yogurt in the AM. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, Christ. Chocolate bars contain chopped up cockroaches or other insects. People are allergic to chocolate. React to the cockroach bits, not the chocolate. Oh, That doesn't sound correct. Yeah, I feel like Arctic wouldn't lie about that. Let me get my juice back. Why, so people can call you? <laughs> so you can see who's calling you right now. Someone texted Blaze one up. Blaze hey, one this up. Is like Hunter some... again. You should say Blaze it. Are you gonna set up? Uh, set the house on fire. Michael would set the house on fire. Every time I eat these bobas, I think they're blueberries, and I get real excited. And then they're bobas, and I'm like, oh. It just tastes like like wheat or something. You know what I'm saying? Take these chances. <sighs> One thing we can do is play Snapcaster Mind Twist them for two, which literally leaves them with one card. I kind of like it. Seems okay. Who are you talking to, man? You. Who are you texting? Nobody. Is it? Is it Hunter again? <laughs> What the hell is this? I don't know what it is, man. I can't tell you. <laughs> oh, that's Filthy Frank. <laughs> Times three, man. Uh, the Son, the Father, and the Holy Ghost. Oh, we got a Dak and a Glory Bringer? A Glory B? Glory B to the Bringer. I'll get in there with the Spell Seeker Boy. I like Yorion blinking this. Let me get just get Time Walker mana. Routes. I think I'm going to have to give a mutual call, you know, when it's slow on work, when I can't sleep, or when I have a question <laughs> has to do with anything. Do it. I tried to give my GF boba, and she said, I'm not drinking those ticks. Huh. They don't look like ticks. They're just balls. Conveniently, Michael loves balls, so it works out for him. Imagine if the whole eating eight spiders a year while you sleep thing was true, but it happens all at once. Like one day when you're about 80, hundreds of spiders just crawl <laughs> in your mouth while you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like they can sense how old you are and they're like, it is his time. Well, that's a nightmare. Yeah, they just crawl in your fucking mouth. I mean, it sounds, it's, I, I think that checks out, right? Oh, it checks out. As in, I'll want to check out of life immediately. Fucking hundreds of spiders right in the mouth, Michael. They get all up in your teeth. You could you feel your you could feel your throat closing up on the spiders like you're choking, but it's because of spiders. The single most terrifying thing I've ever heard. It's not good. Blink them and sink them. Chocolate chips and drink them. Oh, it's just added protein. Whatever. Man, what do we get? Mana Drain? Or Time Walk? I don't actually know. Time Walk because they don't have a second blue. Nailed it. You try to scream, but only spiders come out. <laughs> and also, spiders go in. It's really like a spider. Your mouth is now a spider highway. You said you don't like the bobas, but here you are eating. I'm trying to get them out of the way so I can drink my juice. <laughs> it's bobas. Like, there's so many bobas. I'm just trying to get... Also, maybe they're growing on me. I don't know. They're not bad. They just don't taste like much. All right, they don't. A butt is a unit of liquid equivalent to the volume of two hogsheads. A buttload of wine... How about a buttload of Mike? How much is that? Oh, God. Worst thing that ever happened to a friend, he was taking a nap, saw a spider on his leg, picked up a tissue to pick it up. He didn't get it, but pinched it. Hundreds of baby spiders started coming out and crawling all over. Nope. Oh. Got a shower with bleach. <laughs> you mean after you, before or after you burn your house down? Uh, you know, somewhere in between. You know, between the... 
school bus and the pipe. <laughs> That's the name of my first emo album, Between the School Bus and the Pipe. It's a story about how I was I was growing up. And uh you know, it was it was when I started school and when I started drugs. Is is the story takes place right in the middle. Badger's regularly funny. Don't let him fool you. What are they doing here? They got one card. Is it a good one? Must be. Did you top deck something that... That hurts me? I made them discard five cards of mine to us, so... I think that card paid off. <coughs> I don't know what they're... I don't know what's happening. I just want to be able to... I want to see Shonda go to the graveyard. It's very cute. Probably. Vintage cube is always a, a banger. Okay. You got it. Frosty! T tap that grim. Tap that big grim. Hey man, you wanna go get some more bobos? What? You wanna go get some more bobos? No. Damn. Well, you wanna refill? I always do. It's too greedy, man. I think they put drugs in here. One per night. That's the limit. That's probably a fair limit. It should probably be even less than that. Half a night? It should be like one every other night. Okay, let's slow down. <laughs> this is America, Michael. I can have as many bobas as I want. I mean, hey, man, you can order right now off Grubhub. I won't stop you. Grubhub? Yeah. Who the hell orders off Grubhub? Don't you have a Grubhub? Pass? I have DoorDash Pass. Oh, sorry, DoorDash. They like the same thing. They're, yeah. But yeah, you could get it off DoorDash. You know, if you want to pay like almost double I'll the price. I just have this guy in case they got like lightning bolt and they want to kill my frosty tea. God, how many bobas are in here? There's like 90 fucking bobas in this thing. Uber Eats is better than DoorDash? Why? I mean, that's fine. Kind of the same thing. It's not a contest. I don't know, we saw like, God, there's still so many more bobas. I don't like eating, Can like... Can you order without bobas? I was tempted to. You probably can. I was afraid they'd laugh at me and be like, you want a boba slush now, boba? I'm like, yeah. That was one time for... Yeah, I get a boba slush now, boba, boba slush now, boba. <laughs> what? Hey, man. What? Could door dash it. I know. Why, you want one now? Kinda. What the fuck? <laughs> They're freaking delicious. I could try mango. Wow. Guys, let the record show that Michael, who just tried to convince me that one every other night is probably best, now wants to have two in one night. Well, you know, I don't really stick to my principles. <laughs> Buddy? I know. <sighs> oh, boy. Did you fart? No. Are you going to? <coughs> no. You will. <laughs> oh my god. Hardest day of my life. Oh Christ. My neighbors rang on my doorbell at 3 a.m. Can you believe it? Luckily I was still out playing the drums. Oh boy. Wait, where? What? Oh no, sorry. Um, That one. Okay, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. 
Your dad's a drummer and he used to practice every Sunday at like 8 a.m. Oh, wow. That's terrible. Your neighbors probably hated you. Hey, Moochoo, what's your favorite poker hand that you always play? Uh, aces. I really like aces. <laughs> <laughs> it's my, Well, they have Manifold and Grim Tutor and Grim Monolith? God damn. I actually really like queens. I seem to... I don't know. It's probably biased, but I seem to hit trips pretty often with queens. Yeah, I'm sure that's I'm sure that's just you. I'm sure that's just the the luck you have, right? Not not any sort of randomness from the universe. It's probably randomness, but like, I'll, well, I plus I mean it's queens. Like you, you can't really misplay queens. The king of hard. queens. The king of queens. I also like five ten suited weirdly. You like it when they're suited weirdly? No. <laughs> yeah, he's wearing a scuba gear. <laughs> I like five. What five? What did you say? Five queen. Five ten suited. You like five queen when they're suited weirdly, like if one of them has a tuxedo and the other one has like a okay, yeah. like an army suit. Jack tens are really good. It usually flop strong. They just abraded that. What the hell? This is very strange. The ace of spades. I play vintage poker where ace of spades is restricted. <laughs> well, I mean it's technically restricted in all poker games so. really then how do people get two aces michael you can't get two ace of spades you can only get one ace of spade did he say spade yeah he said where ace of spade is restricted but the just... ace of david spade <laughs> let's just do this let's just explore here except with no land because i really want to hit a land on turn five if it's in a zoot suit i will riot <laughs> wow <laughs> throw back a bottle of beer eight nine suited is my hand Michael Riot. I mean, Suited Connectors are usually pretty decent. I run a comb through Michael Black hair. <laughs> Hunter's really having a moment. Oh, they get the flashback linger on us. Does Council's Judgment hit all the spirits if I target if I choose one? Is there ever a case where aces are low? Yeah, you can use ace as a low card for a straight, so ace two, three, four, five. Ace can count as a one if it, in certain hands. Mm -hmm. Same thing in a 21, like Blackjack. 21 Jump Street? Yeah. Wait, what is this? They know they have Mana Drain. Is this Big Shot? What? You know I have Mana Drain. You saw me get it off of Spellseeker. I guess they're just trying to make you waste it. But They like... gave me seven mana. Nice one mana Ugin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like... What you can also zero to get rid of both of his... That's what I'm going to do. What do you think I'm going to do? Thank you. Holy shit. I like seven, two seven offsuit. It almost never hits, but when it does, you tilt your opponent for the rest of the night. You, that's very true. If two seven air gets there, you're gonna have someone's going to have a bad day. Zuta Suta Riot! Throw back a bottle also, of Also, if he was trying to get you to waste it, why would he pay full mana? Like, just make it twist, like do for two or something. Dennis, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. I really appreciate it. Why would they tap this to do it? I this is so weird. You saw bizarre. me get it. It was revealed. Maybe, maybe he just wasn't paying attention. I guess. Well. Do -do 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 so now your now your vault's gonna be tapped for the rest of the forever. Mike, I don't understand. Can you explain ace low again? Okay, so an ace can either be a one, is it a low? In other words. So you can make a low straight. So ace is one, then two, then three, then four, then five. So that's oh, we probably should have plus, plus two. This was stupid. You made me mess up. I hate you. How do I make you mess up? Because if we plus two, he goes to nine. Uh -huh. We kill one spirit. A spirit attacks. He goes down to eight. He'd still be higher. They're not gonna attack the spirit. What the? That'd be stupid. So then he'd be at nine still. Yeah, maybe that's better. It's hundred percent. What do you mean maybe? But ace also counts as the high card, so it's above a king. So it can be a low when it needs to be in the hand. Well, ace in the hand is worth a low in the bush. If you have a cherry pop and daddy shirt, it's probably best that you don't know what happened to it. Yeah, because that wearing that in public is kind of awkward if they don't know the band. It's also, uh, it's not, it's not ideal. Yeah, man, I don't know if Thoughtseize is really gonna. Tefri can go. That's fine. My mate says I'm getting fat, but in my defense, I had a lot on my plate recently. Wow. <laughs> I wonder what it was. Well, zoot the suit, riot. 
Do I just play Yorion as the 4 5 for no value? Okay, I'll do it. Then why do people say, always say aces are high? I, oh, we should have blinked this. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Sammy, I don't know how much I can explain it. An ace can count as a low when you need it to be, but it also counts as the highest card when you need it to be. It depends on the hand. I can't explain any further. You Google it. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Google it. Hey, buddy. Google it. No. No. No, that's not gonna... Do they try to flash back on your souls and they're like, wait, I only have white sources? And now they're gonna be like, sad concede? Who decides if an ace is a one or higher? It depends on the hand. The person playing the hand does. It becomes what... You, it can either be the highest card or the lowest card. It's dependent on the hand. So when you need it to be low, it's a low. When you need it to be high, If I have high. two, three, four, five... If, if, if I have... Let's okay. So let's say we have five card hand. If I have two, three, four, five, and an ace, I'm gonna use it as a. Oh wait, no, that's not gonna work. If I have three, four, five, six, and an ace, I'm gonna use the ace as a two, obviously. Well, you can't use it as a two. No, though. use it as an ace, right? Yeah, yeah. It's ace, it two, three, it can four, only five. Be, it can, it's either a one. Yeah, that's right. Or a uh, ten. It's confusing. Or a for some reason, I don't know why. All right, so this is ten, one, two, three, four, five. So if I have king, ace, two, three, four, I went no. That's a. That's like a. That's different. That's like a wraparound. There's some games. A wraparound? Like, yeah, like a wraparound straight. There's some games where they do that, but that's very uncommon. Man, you're like really, uh, you're teaching these poker strats here. So an ace can either be a one, so it can count as a one, or it can count as above a king, so which would be like a, a 14 or whatever. I feel like they have zealous conscripts, and I really don't want them to, so I'm going to... Vendillion click so I can not have my Ugin stolen and have them ultimate it. Man, they're taking two a turn from Mana Vault and Bitter Blossom. They're basically dead. They are basically dead. Also, we're going to shoot them in the face for three, so they're actually just dead if they don't do something. I guess they do. Oh, they're going to untap that. Gambler has been unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So if I Mana Drain an Ace, do I get... 1 or 14 mana. Well, in that case, you would get to choose, even though this is a ridiculous thing. Why is it ridiculous? You, you would want it to be a 14. You get to choose it being a 14. Scarab God and Eleshnorn are the two cards in your hand? I guess I'll take Eleshnorn. Because I don't want you to play that. I don't think it matters, but... So we need to have Scarab God. And one other card. So this guy, do you like draw seven and put up to seven permanents from your hand on the battlefield? It's pretty good. I mean, I probably just win instead, though, right? What is the value of an ace if there's a chicken in the corn? <laughs> <laughs> what is the value of a man? Isn't that Bioshock? What is a man? That's Castlevania. No, you stupid fuck. I didn't really hear your quote. There's a, what is the value of something, quote, in, like, Bioshock, is there not? What is the value of? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm stupid. <sighs> Zoot Suit Riot, Michael. I'm gonna do the cool shit, because they're gonna kill themselves with Bear Blossom anyway, so. Uh, you, 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 you. A man chooses, a slave obeys. Oh, Where's I can on? just tap this, so now this deals them more damage. Nailed it! See, that was just cool. And now I'm gonna pass. And Ugin stays alive. So they get dealt two damage on their turn. Staying alive, staying alive. Ha, 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 ha. Am I gonna be? You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> Why? They always are. Who? You know. You know. I once aced the test and that was worth 100, so can manager and get me 100 mana? No. Well, in that case, that's case. Actually, it would. Hey, in that case. All right, we're just keeping this hand. Tide Pretty taker. Good all your colors. Double so we're going to play turn two Tithe Taker, turn three Manager and turn four Frosty. That would be pretty good. 
Chat's keeping people happy all over the world in these times. Buddy. I'm considering investing in a real poker site. You? Yeah. Like where they actually run, you know, like real tournaments. <coughs> Not in America, buddy. No, you can. I don't think so, man. Don't lie. Cashing out is a bit of a pain in the neck. You either have to wait for a check or do it in Bitcoin. Michael's going to be a Bitcoin millionaire. Bitcoin? <laughs> Although I hear Bitcoin is much faster and easier. Your mom's faster and easier. Wow. <laughs> Got him. Dang, I just wrecked his mother. Get off mom's, Michael. I just got off yours. You know that old gym? Hmm. Brushing in the con. Chicken in the con. And the con tells all. Chicken in the con. happy playing on ignition poker? Yeah, I've heard ignition is pretty good. Ignition? Yeah. This is the... Oh, nope, not doing that. Mm -hmm. the only problem is that is like so you withdraw into bitcoin and then you got to return that bitcoin into money and then you got to go in your bank and it's just like a whole process turn your bitcoin and then into money when Michael. you turn your bitcoin into money the people who turn it into money have to charge you for it and it's just like it's all a, it's all a scam i can't america just be like every other civilized country and let you gamble online like normal and i can just deposit it in my bank account or oh PayPal. boy no, sir. Oh, boy. Man, this is brutal. You get four mana, you counter their spell, and they sacrifice their guy. We have eight, so we can play both of these guys next turn. No, it's not the banks that hate it. It's just the stupid U.S. government. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Chicken in the corn. Michael, you know about chicken in the corn? Didn't think so. Let's tap your island forever. Michael, it's because of America's puritanical underpinning. That's true. It's true. He's right. I mean, that's is probably where it comes from. Chicken and the corn, goddammit. It's from the chicken and the corn. Did you know that? Well, actually, there's four states where you can gamble online legally. Uh, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, uh, the domains of gambler, <laughs> I see. Uh, Las Vegas, where's Las Vegas in? Why am I blanking on that? Is it Arizona? No, it's not Arizona. Nevada. So, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Nevada, and there's one other. The realm of gambler. Chicken of the corn. Michael, tell me about the chicken in, your, in the corn. Papa, tell me about them chickens and the corns. Please, Papa. Why not go to a real casino? Um, so there's actually a weird thing about Colorado. Well, also COVID-19 is a thing. COVID-19 so. is a thing. And on top of that, also you can only bet 100 per hand no matter what. So it's really weird. It's got this weird, like, betting system where the most you can ever bet is 100. I blame the chicken and the corn. Hundred per bet, yes. So I can bet 200? You can only bet 200 if someone bet 100 before you. <laughs> the National <laughs> Gambling fucking helpline. I knew it was gonna be that. <laughs> fucking gas, dude. Chicken in the corn. Chicken. In yeah, the Black corn. Friday did root out the few like uh, sketchy sites as well, which was the only upside to it. But now you can't really play in the U.S. Friday, unless you're Black in those four states. Friday. All right, go. <laughs> You like this song I'm singing? It's only annoying because you can never like go all in. So <laughs> it's pronounced Aureen. Eventually it'll be legal legalized again, hopefully soon. I don't think there's enough push for it, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think they that's just not on their agenda. If the only like Andrew Yang was the only one who ever talked about it, but no one no other candidate ever spoke anything about it. 
Hashtag Yang Gang. <laughs> it's weird because you can still go to Casima and gamble all your money away, but you can't do it online for some reason. Maybe you can't. I gamble every day, boy. Containment priest seems. Yeah, to be- I know you play magic for a living. <laughs> God, where's the lie? Chicken in the cone. I just want it to be legal in every state that I move to. Is that is that too much to ask for? It is. It's a lot to ask for. You're being really selfish right now. That is not a game. A gamble magic is a game of skill. Well, it's also part variance, just like poker. Poker is a game of skill for sure, but there's definitely variance involved. Yeah, they had a food token out, and they could have made more food with their with their goose. We weren't like trying to race or anything. <clears throat> You know what they say about the goose and the gander? What do they say? Ned Flanders. Yeah, scratch your back there. It was my side. You know what they say about the goose and the gander? Ned Flanders. That's what they say about it? Maybe you should run for Omni Governor, Mike. (laughs) I don't even know what that means. Maybe Mike should run for chicken and the corn. Hi, are you tired of the same old chicken in the corn? Have you guys heard the Ned Flanders metal band? Yes. I figured you might have, but... <laughs> Where's the trash pile? I was going to consolidate our drinkers. Alright, threw mine out. Yeah, I'm aware. This guy sucks. He's not good. People love him, though. No one loves him. A ton is, of people play him he is commander. unloved. I don't know why. Maybe because you suck. Mitch, please. I actually try to suck more when I play commander because my decks are usually too competitive. <laughs> and you're like, please play with me, guys. It's just hard for me to design a deck to be not optimal. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just hard for me as a magic player because I'm so more into the competitive side really I bet they get a forest and an island wow they showed me don't I feel stupid yo let me get that spell seeker boy I'm the same way, Mike. Building a suboptimal deck goes against the spike. Yeah. I like it when the dogs sleep, though. One of them is, like, always, like, halfway outside of the dog bed. It's just like, I'm sleeping on the edge here. All right, they played one forest. Oh, good. We're channeling. Mike looking at a six-card instant win combo in his hand. Um, I play Grey over and pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it feels like. The vacuum leftovers. What? What the hell is this? I don't remember that clip at all. Yes, you do. Did you ever eat the vacuum? I vacuum. It feels so great, actually. A clean floor. I actually love vacuuming. I love vacuuming. Every time I vacuum, I'm like, wow, this is like a new house. I think they just take a million. Oh, they just do ravages of work? Yeah, do that. You ever uh, vacuum and then eat a little bit of the, uh, the leftovers? <laughs> okay, the fact that you call them leftovers is really strange to me, I want to be honest. <laughs> I do not remember this at all. The vacuum leftovers. That's uh, that's what we're calling them. The fucking vacuum leftovers. <laughs> like, hey man, I couldn't finish all my vacuum today, so I ate some left. I got some leftovers. If you're interesting, interested? Well, this is pretty bad. This is some real chicken in the corn bullshit right here. Well, I mean, two more lands and you can fade it. I can what? Fade it. Fade it? Mm-hmm. You think it's Fate's Fetters? Oh, he's killing... Oh, never mind. I didn't realize this was a tooth and nail and he's killing literally everything you own. That's not good. That's no good. No. Oh, ten, no nine, they're also at 11. We have four yeah, in the they have air. one air blocker. They have one air blocker. <laughs> It's easier than saying flyer, I guess. Bruce Lee had a vegan brother. Yeah. Broccoli. Wow. Look at that one air blocker that they got. Chicken in the corn for real, dude. 
This is actually still a three turn clock because they go to they go to seven and then they go to three and then even if they block one they're still dunzo in their pretty little bunzo. Yeah, oh, this is also a floater too when they block. Wait, we're what? at twenty. How's that a floater? You don't know how aftermath works, afterlife? Oh. I didn't know he had that. Well. They're gonna attack for a lot though. Hey man, you ever eat the vacuum leftovers? Every night. No, you don't. Don't fucking lie about your vacuum once. I eat it every night. You don't even vacuum every... You don't even vacuum once since you've been in this house. You don't have to vacuum every time to get the vacuum leftovers. You just take a little out of the pouch. But you haven't vacuumed once, so... I'm sure there's stuff in there for me to eat. You know, no, there's not. Why not? Why isn't there stuff for you to eat? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, man, you're being, you're being greedy. Leave some for your boy. No. You're disgusting. <laughs> Chicken and bone. Disgusting. <laughs> Gonna go do a vomit, thanks. Waldell, enjoy your vacuum leftovers. Hmm. Well, that's something, alright. That's unfortunate. Yep. Never don't have that guy, huh? Chicken in the corn, path of exile, celestial colonnade. Yep. It's one of the few cards that can actually prevent us from actually winning this game. Yeah, it's because they get to go back to the 10. Yep. And they happen to have two mana. So, that's cool. Fly me to the moon and think we're dead. Yeah, let's just go to the next game. I don't feel like the only fucking Oko and Terastodon and shit pickle McGee. I think I just want the other damnation in here. Take out Yorion. Would you like to reveal it as your companion? Oh, we. What's Kurt with saying? I will play fast, you see? Snap it off. Oh man, if they go tooth and nail or nature, natural order. Natural order. I hope you die. Do you really hope that? No. Mike, you ever check out uh, Kakagiri, the gambling anime? Um, Maybe, mm -hmm. but I don't... There was one gambling anime that I watched a couple years ago, but I can't remember if that's the same one. Is it drawn with like a guy who has a big nose? It's like very round. It's racist. Pinocchio ish. Pinocchio's nose is only round once he lies, Michael. It doesn't it's not naturally round. God, you don't know anything about Pinocchio, do you? I'm just going to Google it. That'll probably make it easier. I'm going to Google it with my Googles. I use my special internet Googles, you see. Draw them cards. Dude. No, I've not seen that one. It's on Netflix. Okay. More like butt flicks. No, the one I'm talking about is not a rock, paper, scissors thing.
Mike B, aside from Gambler, what are other gambling deities? Well, you got, um, you got Schnivelbop. Schnivelbop? Yeah. You've got. Fuck. I was worried about Schnivelbop. The Great Garganchi. Who's that? And you got Teeny Weeny. Those don't seem real. Well, they're real to me. Teeny Weeny? Yeah. Ex- t- tell me about Teeny Weeny. <laughs> well, he like he's the he's the deity of small gambles. Like you know low low bets. Like if you like like, like if you if got you, five on it, you know. <laughs> like if you and I were hanging out and I was like, hey man, I bet you can't drink that in an hour. And you'd be like, oh bet. Yeah, and we like bet a dollar, then that would be Teeny Weeny. Fuck Teeny Weeny is that sounds crazy, dude. I got five on Teeny Weeny. It's on Netflix. Sell it to me. Sell it to you? Is it about a certain kind of gambling or is it just like gambling for your life or what's it about? Gambling for your life. I did watch this one gambling anime that was about like um, dominoes. Like the game of dominoes. It was like, it starts with an A. It was pretty good. It was kind of shorter. I no longer want this coffee. This is why you've combined two of them because you get like the fucking venti trenta quadruple size. You can't finish one, so you mix two, and then after you mix two, you can't finish that one either. So it's like, I don't know, maybe get a smaller size. Did you ever consider that? Well, usually I drink one a day, but for some reason I didn't drink that one, and then today I got one that I didn't drink all the way. And oh man, I well that was because of naps and wild. Not because it's for because of Napster. Yeah, Mike B. You ever met Gambling Genie? Gamble Genie? No. Gene lore? Well. Hmm. When I don't nap, I usually drink a whole Trenta. Once he gets those naps in him. Naps off to you. Wait, why did I attack with this? I I have no idea. Oh, wow, that was terrible. Yep, that was real bad. Oh. Oh my god, we got so fucking rewarded there. Wow. Oh, I don't have a second white for this. That's what I was going to do. Oh, let's actually just time walk here. Because that's real good. Do we play land this turn? Yeah, okay. Stop picking your nose on stream, Michael. I wasn't picking it. But I, I like watched this. the boogers enter it your nose. It went like this, okay? I wasn't picking it. Fucking disgusting. I was rubbing it. Man, no one ever told me what that show was about. It's too bad. I'm going to eat all your plants. Buddy, you're going to be plantless. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana. We can Elspeth kill these two. We'll get this guy back. They'll have one attacker. Three creatures total, so three, six mana, seven, eight mana. That's a lot of mana. The show is about schoolgirls gambling. It's interesting. Schoolgirls gambling? You could just say it's about gambling because it's anime, so there's always some form of schoolgirls involved. Tee hee. All right, next time we get to time walk again. I'd rather just, if they have one plant left, I don't care about killing this guy as much. All right. Oh, they drew like, they drew a card in there. So I said 10 or six or seven. So they got, all right. There's a lot of things happening. We just have to survive this turn. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, if they have frigging crater hoof, I'm gonna feel real bad. 
Like Crater Hoof is one of the top two cards in their deck. Okay, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, that's actually. It's about winning the most through games to up your ranking. If you go too far in the hole, you become a slave. Oh, wow. Sounds like a wholesome show. Michael's already a slave to Gambler. <laughs> Oh, yikes. Maybe I don't want to watch it. You gotta elk this guy, right? Oh, you turn my skull clamp into a creature? Oh, an Elder Gargi? Can't you just nuke him? Nuke him? Yeah, with Elspeth? Nuke who? They're bored. Michael, what do I know? You know what, else? what do you think Elspeth does? Kills power four or greater? Yeah, they have two creatures like that. Yeah, then they'll be gone, though. They'll be gone! So we just need... Well, I'm just gonna... How about I just Ugin? Can I just Ugin instead? Thanks. You could do that. Get rid of all permies. Thief of sanity. You got anything that can get through here? Not really. It's a thief. Of sanity. <laughs> so Ugin. We want one. We probably want to do it for three, which gets rid of a lot of our things. This guy has reach too. Good gravy. Yeah, I don't think you can quite lethal them here, right? I think we get just negative three. Like, it gets rid of this reachy guy. We lose our scarab guy, but we do get him back. Actually... So if we attack with everyone, they can only block five, so four get through, so yeah, it'll only be four damage. But we can also keep... Wait, there it's... Mm, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can actually bring this back with Scarab God. Just to get Mana Lake. Drain. Mana Drain. Seems pretty good. Oh, we could shoot them face and then just attack with everyone. And I think that's game, right? One, two, three. They have five. No, well, they're gonna. They can gain three off this guy. So, oh, it's when he attacks or blocks. Yes. So they effectively be at six. If we minus Elspeth, we kill this guy alone, and then I can play Ugin. Minus two. Minus one gets rid of these three, but then they still keep this and Oko, and we lose all of our soldiers and this. We'd keep like three things. It's not very great. It's actually tricky because there's a lot going on here. One, two, three, four, six, eight mana. Minus Elspeth, Ugin, and Alpha. What we can do, they have four blockers. Actually, this might, yeah, let's do this. So they have four guys. We have one, two, we have, yeah, okay, this, one, two, four, five, six, we have eight guys. So they're taking four and then we get to Ugin. Yeah, that seems good. So then Ugin just kills them. Ugin's a hell of a drug. This is our first trophy. Are we trophying? Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankfort. Patreon.com slash frankfort. Manatraders.com. Great subscription service. 20% off your first three months with the link down below in the promo code RATTRAIN. And you can check out Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday for articles from your boy.
Oh, got him. And we're going to open this treasure chest because that's how we do. Ready? A mind bend. The hell is that card? And some play points. You know, I don't care. I know it's bad because I've never heard of it. Let's open these two. Open all of them. What do we got here? Three lands. Three basic lands. Sick, bro. Oh, boy. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.